What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Marlin Automotive. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I have to say that we have plenty of news that uh, some of uh, uh, shareholders uh, might think that they are positive and some of them might think that they are not. And I will give you my point of view on these news. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, right after this asset broke the range of uh, support uh, at uh, 31.99 uh, cents price point, it had a quite a harsh movement, let me show it to you more thoroughly. It had quite harsh movement to the downside and then it had a rejection to the upside. And as you can see, it uh, pretty much hit the range of uh, support of uh, roughly 25.07 cents. And uh, this is not the exact uh, line. Uh, usually it is the range of supports and resistances and uh, you cannot count on this uh, uh, line as the precise price point. This uh, means, uh, as you can see, we hit this range uh, once, twice and three times. And definitely this range is a quite good range of support. On top of that, right after the bounce on January 19th, we retested the range of resistance. And as you can see, we almost broke it to the upside. But eventually we are again in the middle of 30 cents price points. And uh, definitely this uh, price section is quite neutral in general because we are almost at the same spot uh, when we were previously. But uh, we retested uh, the lower range uh, of uh, support uh, twice. And this means uh, from the technical standpoint uh, this asset can retest it another time and uh, it had quite decent possibility to break it. So, and let's continue with the news. First of all, let me show you that we don't have uh, any official news that were published on their uh, investors section. The latest one was made more than one month ago on December 22nd. We also don't have any news uh, on the David Mishri official Twitter page and we don't have uh, any official news from the Malin Automotive uh, Twitter account as well. The only news that we might find is uh, the uh, statements that were published on SEC. And uh, right here, as you can see, we have the latest filing made uh, by David Mishri. And uh, he was awarded another 33.8 uh, million shares. And uh, he basically received uh, more than $10 million again for some weird activity. And I covered it in my previous video and I will show you uh, in just several minutes uh, what it might be. And immediately he uh, gifted or uh, gave uh, uh, 1.4 million shares, it is about $450,000 to some unknown person. And let me show you uh, this uh, article that is describing it. As you can see, CEO David Mishri just received 33.87 million shares of Marlin stock. And uh, he also transferred 1.45 million shares to an unknown recipient. And uh, I think uh, this is uh, some kind of scheme when David Mishri can uh, cash out uh, his uh, shares without the filings that he sold it right here. And uh, definitely it is just uh, my assumption, it is just my speculation, but I honestly think that uh, he might uh, cash out these stocks. So I will put all the links uh, on the articles in the description below. You can read it uh, by yourself. And uh, let me show you quite interesting detail. We also have uh, uh, this article that was published 14 hours ago and it says Malin stock alert. Malin confirms reverse stock split vote. Shareholders approved a reverse split, although the final say will come down to the court chancery. And let me quote you these bullets. Malin automotive shareholders voted in favor of a reverse stock split. It is their proposal number one and I covered it uh, somewhere in my previous videos. Second one, shareholders also voted in favor of proposal number four, which involves the issuance of notes and uh, Series D preferred stock. And let me quote to this. While proposals uh, number one and number four were approved, the outcome of proposal number two still hangs in the balance. Proposal number two seeks to increase the number of authorized uh, common stock to 5 billion from 1.75 billion. Malin noted that it would adjourn proposal number two's uh, vote to January 25th in order to provide shareholders with more time to complete their decision. 
Furthermore, while uh, proposal number one was approved, Marlins board cannot file uh, to enact the proposal until it receives the green light uh, from uh, Delaware's Court uh, of uh, Chancery. This is because two lawsuits uh, allege uh, that the proposal to increase authorized common stock uh, at the company's 2022 annual meeting on July 26th should have uh, never been approved. The result for this, Marlin scheduled a hearing with the Court of uh, Chancery on January 23rd to ask the court to ratify its proposal to increase authorized shares. Malin has not yet released the details on the outcome of the hearing. And uh, I have to say that we have uh, the decision and uh, on another article uh, on, Mal on Investor Place we can find this information. A judicial action from Field January 23 states uh, bench ruling granting the 205 petition. Conseil are to confer and submit proposed uh, order lifting status quo. Essentially, the judge concluded that the vote to increase authorized common stock was valid. Attorneys will now prepare a proposal that uh, would lift uh, its status quo order. The status quo order prevented Malin from acting upon the results of its uh, special meeting of shareholders. And uh, definitely this decision gives a green light uh, to vote for the uh, proposal number two to dilution that will increase the number of uh, outstanding shares for almost three times. And definitely this uh, action will drive the price uh, of Malin stock much lower, despite the reverse stock split. But reverse stock split uh, is not uh, so bullish uh, news by itself, because usually when the company announces uh, its reverse stock split, uh, usually it has uh, some uh, bearish pressure on the stock price and because of this we definitely might see the retest, at least the retest of 25 cents price point and probably it will break it to the downside. And uh, we have also several ranges of support, but I will show you them in just uh, several minutes. So what might be the bullish news uh, directly related to Malin? Definitely we cannot wait uh, the announcements of uh, their production of uh, some vehicles. Uh, definitely they don't have money even to operate uh, their current uh, activity without production of any vehicles. This means they cannot have any income and this means uh, their financials are still very weak. But let me show you right here. Uh, meanwhile, a petition calling attention to Malin has made the rounds. The petition requests uh, Mishri to join Genius Group uh, in investigating market manipulation and naked short selling. Genius uh, recently announced plans uh, to form an illegal trading task force to investigate trading irregularities uh, in its stock. At the time of writing, the petition had over 10,000 signatures. And uh, I covered uh, this uh, news uh, about uh, GNS and about uh, MMTLP and you can find uh, a lot of videos related to this topic. And I have to say that it is the only news that might uh, drive the price uh, of uh, Marlin higher in the short-term perspective. Because uh, the more companies will be added to the list uh, of uh, the fighters against uh, authorities and against uh, some fraudulent hedge funds who drive the price uh, of uh, some assets lower with the synthetic uh, slash counterfeit shares. Definitely it might uh, drive the price of uh, Marlin higher in the short term perspective. On top of that, let me show you that this asset is losing its momentum. Uh, on uh, apewisdom.io website, Marlin Automotive is on the 94th place. It lost about 80 rows during the last 24 hours. And on StockTweet's uh, community, we cannot find this uh, ticker symbol on the trending section. And uh, on the most active section, uh, this ticker symbol is on the 6th place. And uh, we cannot find this ticker symbol on the watcher section as well. This means Marlin Automotive is quite weak uh, even uh, from the standpoint of a retail community that might support uh, its price section. And this means we have to be very cautious uh, with the long positions. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, the chances that this asset will retest uh, uh, the 25.07 uh, sense price point are very high and uh, also we can assume that uh, this uh, range uh, will be broken and the next range of support might be at 20.88 cents and 18.14 uh, cents and uh, if this asset breaks uh, these two ranges definitely it will form lower lows and lower highs 
and it will basically establish new all-time low for this asset and definitely it will be another bearish sign for the price so i think from the technical standpoint that's it for now if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye i got the cash in the bag stadium pack born a rock star in this life gone live it up on the attack baby i'm bad i just want to get caught up in this life i'm crazy i'm mad doing no cap only god wants you better go live it up